Good evening and welcome to episode 42 of the Nicola Valley Talk, a podcast provided by Tourism Nicola Valley, Experience Nicola Valley, and Experience Merit. Nicola Valley Talk is broadcast live every Thursday at 7 p.m. PST from Merritt, British Columbia, Canada. Nicola Valley Talk is part of the award-winning Experience Nicola Valley program. It was awarded the 2021 Canada Prestige Award for the Best Marketing Program of the Year and the Best Community Project Award for, the commun for communities under 20,000 people by the British Columbia Economic Development Association. My name is Melvina White. I'm your country music and country lifestyle blogger with Experience Nicola Valley and your host tonight on Nicola Valley Talk. And working the control room is our famous eco-blogger, Tanya Stewart. Tonight we're going to talk furniture in Merritt and the Nicola Valley with Sunny C. Khan of City Furniture in downtown Merritt. Let's put together a big round of applause for our special guest tonight, Sunny C. Khan, owner-manager of City Furniture in Merritt, British Columbia. Hey, Sunny, welcome to the show. Thanks, Holly. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Hey, great. <laughs> Let's, uh, um, there's a little more to purchasing furniture than the average person would think. So let's get to it with our first question. Sonny, what would you, would you please take a moment first off to introduce yourself and share a little about who is Sonny C. Khan of City Furniture in Merritt? Yeah, you bet, Mella. Born and raised in Merritt 46 years ago. My grandparents first immigrated to Canada and settled here in Merritt back in the early 60s. I grew up in downtown on Kulshana Avenue with all my cousins and whatnot as neighbors. I attended uh, Central Elementary School and then moved on to the junior, Nicola Valley Junior, and graduated from MSS. Attended TRU for a couple of years back then, it was uh, UCC. For those of you uh, that remember that, and uh, then I decided to come back to the Nicola Valley. I I love this town. <laughs> I well, chose. That's, to... that's great, and I'm, I'm. I think uh, probably most of us are happy that you did choose it. Well, I, um, it's great. I like. Uh, I love this place, uh, and you know, came to come, chose to come back to Merritt to raise my family here. And as uh, proud Rotarians, uh, my wife and Brandy and I would like to be involved in the community. And I'd like to just give back to what we can and help wherever we could. And that's that's great too. That's yeah. kudos for that. Yeah, and it was, um, wasn't long. I ended up starting, was it 1995? I started with the... Uh, Yes, 1995, I started with City Furniture. I started working part-time with Daz and still continuing to work with my Uncle Sog at the grocery store and the other family businesses. But 26 years later, I never thought I'd still be there, but here I am, owner-operator, and here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that leads us into... Um... We know uh, there's a little more to purchasing furniture than, than just deciding you need a new bed today. For an example, purchasing a mattress isn't uh, a one-size-fits-all. So my question to that is, can you tell us a little bit about what kind of questions you get asked by customers looking for a mattress? And how long does it take on an average for them to decide on which one to purchase? Your ring all had this not definitely not one size fits all. Um, the most asked question when somebody comes in is what's the good bed for my back aches and what has the least amount of motion transfer? So somebody in the bed they don't want to be moving or be affected, somebody's going in and out. Um, so picking a bed is not that easy. Um, purchasing a bed is a very personal thing. You must come in, you have to lay on a few and just try them out <laughs> we have we have over 30 beds always to choose from uh, with different firmness levels um made by the top brands like sealy simmons serta so you come in you can try out lay on a few 
it's it's not as easy as just trying a bet out online if you want to buy a bet online it's not like that because you can't really feel it right so until you come in and lay down then you know um but even then it's still hard to find the exact bed just by a few seconds or a few minutes on a bed uh we do offer a 30-day sleep satisfaction guarantee uh that way we'll make sure you get the right bed you know if it's too firm we'll get you into a softer or vice versa um and i suppose uh in, in order to answer those those questions that the customer is asking you you're going to do a fair amount of research yourself i'm sure uh learning curves and and it, the whole gamut to for sure uh, we we go through a lot of training uh the staff goes through regular training uh, the sales reps are always informing us you know with the latest technology um right now the biggest craze in in beds are the uh, lifestyles adjustable beds um they're not just for the elderly uh these beds are great uh, more and more consumers are wanting these for just comfort for watching tv reading um uh, or even doing the odd zoom meeting from bed with this COVID that's going on <laughs> <laughs> um you got a couple of uh shout outs here um May Ketter says, hi, Sonny, nice to see you. Um, hey, and and uh, Carrie Horning says, hello from Calgary. Um, so hey. you're getting some, hey. uh, <laughs> you're giving hey. some good advice here, obviously. <laughs> nice to see you, everybody. Uh, city furniture has been a staple in Merritt for several years. And I know from over the years that city furniture has a large customer base from surrounding communities. What does city furniture offer that the big box stores don't that should encourage the residents of Mission or Merit to shop local? Well, Melvo, when you shop at city furniture, you're getting personalized service with real value and real price. Um, we take pride in that and, and our service, you know, we do our best. Uh, you can't always please everyone, but we always are doing our best. Um, with our price match guarantee, you don't need to shop out of town. We, in Merit right here, we have a huge selection of furniture, mattresses, appliances, electronics. Our showroom is 20,000 square feet, and we also have a warehouse right here in Merit. If you come in, you like something, you buy it today, and most times you can actually take it home today. Um, that's one of the benefits of buying through us here a lot of the big box stores when you go in they won't sell you what they have in stock they want to keep it on their floor or they want to keep take more sales orders on it uh, with us we're okay if you want it it's in the back of your truck or we'll bring it to your home you know within the next day or two um those are things that a lot of the big box stores just can't do um no um and, and the thing with Thing with that to you know shopping local we we also are doing our best to give back to the community we do so many in different ways like sponsorships between the mayor centennials the art clubs um the food bank and these are just the schools this is just to name a few of the uh, things that we do and like like i said earlier in the introduction that you know we do our best to kind of give back to the community whenever possible um Yes, and I've experienced that myself from City Furniture on a, on a couple of uh, uh, fundraising events where we've needed a TV for a couple hours or um, something like that. And City Furniture has always been very supportive of um, of that type of thing. You bet. Um, uh, Merritt has had some major events over the years that have drawn some substantial crowds. In conversation uh, over the years with City Furniture, um, I learned that they've obtained customers from these crowds. Um, what effect does an increase in visitors have on your store and what are some of the residual benefits overall of attracting visitors in the numbers these events have, uh, these events have drawn? You're right. 
Tourists, you know, the traffic through our store is always a good thing for any business, actually. Uh, we always want traffic. Um, but in most cases, usually the tourists aren't buying furniture. But our duties as ambassadors of merit, it's our job to actually showcase, you know, what, who, who we are, what we are in, in merit. And, um, you know, not just sell our store, but sell merit to these tourists because eventually one day they may settle here in Merritt and uh, uh, we're all here for them. <laughs> uh, it's a big welcome. Um, with attractions like the Walk of Stars, the Art Walks, um, all these different things that we're able to do, people are traveling through Merritt and spending some time going through the downtown, um, visiting all the different businesses. And that's all it takes, you know, if they're walking through and it might be the difference of they're going to choose merit over another town uh, if they're thinking about moving. Okay. Uh, Sar Sarishti Sharma uh, says, so actually I was wondering what concerns do your employees have about business as your team proceeds through all the COVID working operational changes being located in a small town like Merritt? Sorry, I didn't, um, I didn't hear that. Sorry, Mama. Uh, uh, oh, okay. okay. So, uh, Sarishti, Sarishti Sharma uh, asks the question, so actually, I was wondering, what concerns do your employees have about business as your team proceeds through all the COVID working operational changes being located in small town like Merritt? Yeah, so we we do look we do make sure that our employees and our customers at the same time are always um, safe. Uh, we want to make sure that they're taking all precautions that are required, whatever the government is requiring of us. Um, there's my guys are always sanitizing. My guys are always got masks on, uh, entering people's homes for deliveries, um, and then even visiting in our showroom, we do make sure that uh, everybody's social distancing. Um, and uh, just doing our part, like everybody, like everybody should be. Perfect. Um, Greg Gerard says, "Great ambassador, thank you, Sonny." <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Uh, um, COVID nineteen has sent shockwaves through our society and uprooted consumer behavior in many areas as we know it. Consumer behavior is changing as they are in investing in the comforts of home, especially home furniture. What are some of the developing furniture trends you are witnessing when compare when comparing pre-COVID to mid-pandemic? Well, the, the big trend that we see is that more and more people are needing to set up home offices um, in existing living spaces, so a desk and a chair um, going into homes. Um, so many people now are being or working from home or able to work from home. Um, it's changed. It's changed a lot of people's uh, instead of having to go into the office, uh, they're at home. But most people don't have a separate room or a separate uh, area for a home office. So they try to set up what they can in their living room. Uh, Kind of like what I've got here. <laughs> uh, we find that people are not traveling as much. Um, so there's a lot more disposable income right now uh, out there to be doing renovations. Uh, home renovations are the number one thing on everybody's to-do list. Uh, uh, as all the hardware stores are very busy, um, the record sales everywhere, whoever I spoke to, um, it's it's the renovations from kitchens to living rooms to bedrooms uh, and we're always there to help uh, we always have something for those rentals uh, right. always with 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 the rentals when you do need furniture we got something for every budget uh, so canadian made custom orders or versus uh, just something that's already a pre-order product that's on our floors um are you uh, witnessing any um, online purchases or? 
Yeah, there's uh, online is definitely a big a big player. Uh, appliances and electronics are something that you can purchase online. Um, I mean, you can buy anything online, but furniture and mattress is such a personal thing. You know, unless you sit in that chair, or unless you know the color of the fabric could look so different on one person's computer screen to somebody else's. So unless you're coming into the store and actually seeing it, touching, you know, it's all about touch and feel with our products. Um, so we are still a little bit more protected from, you know, online sales. But with electronics and appliances, it's easy, right? You got a model number, you know what TV you want. And yes, and we do have a uh, cityfurnitureCanada.com, our website, so you can order online. Uh, when you do that, it's actually being delivered from your local store. So we are still the ones coming to your place to deliver. Um, Greg Alexander says, we got all our new appliances from Sunny. He went above and beyond to get us some items that he didn't even carry in the store. Much appreciated. Thanks again, Sunny. Oh, right on, Greg. You're welcome. And Kamal Sikon says, hello, Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh where do you see the furniture um industry going uh post COVID-19 what do you see happening with it uh that's that's the million dollar question Melba I don't think anybody knows that <laughs> um I mean, I can say one thing over the last 14 months, I mean, that we've been dealing with COVID with all the shutdowns and everything. Um, we were able to keep all of our employees employed and working full time during during the shutdown, or the initial shutdown. Then slowly as things started opening up, we were going out doing more deliveries and whatnot. Um, my team was always able to deliver all the basic necessities like a fridge, a freezer, or a stove to everyone in the community. I mean, these are things that you can't go without. If your fridge breaks down, you can't go without. Um, but we were always there to give you either a loaner to use um, or always have something either in stock, ready to go now. Um, we did what we had to do. Everybody got caught off guard, uh, but here we are still dealing with it. Um, the biggest challenges that we had through the last year or so was just getting inventory. Um, and this is a problem in every business. It's not just home furnishings. It uh, doesn't matter what you're out there purchasing. Every business is having some problems getting inventory for a sale. Um, over the years, uh, we've built strong relationships with our suppliers. And uh, together with our suppliers, we're able to do, do our best, basically, to get products in as fast as possible. But with all the strains on manufacturing and the raw materials, it's, it's tough right now. Yes. It, um, it, is there, uh, has there been a shortage in um, what you've been able to order, like the car lots? <laughs> Can't get cars? Is it well, yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's a it's a worldwide thing, and it's, uh, delays from from raw materials like the, uh, the 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 fuels and what needed to make foam. And there's a foam shortage in the world. Like, who would think that would affect anybody? But shortage of foam. Well, there's foam in your mattress. There's foam in your sofa. There's foam in your car seats. Like, everything requires foam, and that's just one thing, you know. And between all the other raw materials are going from electronics and the different chips and everything, there's shortages and it just delays everything. You know? They're not they're not saying that you're never never gonna get it, but it's just the normal two weeks now might be four weeks. Um, or in some cases, if it's a special order, it might be even longer. Um, it's just hard to say. It's hard to get an exact date from suppliers right now. Okay. Uh, Kelly Langlos Torgerson says thanks city furniture um experience nicola valley experience merit in this talk show nicola valley talk are part of the tourism nicola valley program which just won best community marketing program in canada and best economic development program in bc for communities under 
20,000. What do you think of the Experience Nicola Valley program? And what are you hearing out there in the community? What do you think this program brings to the community and region? Yeah, um, the Experience Nickel Valley program has really put merit on the map. Um, there's people talking about it all over, uh, uh, following all the different, uh, watching the different programs and stuff. Uh, I think it's amazing. Um, it's bringing more people into the Nickel Valley. Um, people are people are coming into our store, moving up here from the Lower Mainland, from Alberta, from from all these other large centers, and telling us that they're relocating and a lot of it is programs like this you know what what you guys are doing as uh, nickel by tourism uh bringing customers into uh Meridor and keeping them here and it's our job to make sure that we all keep them here right uh you guys have done a great job of uh, uh promoting merit and getting people here to say well thank you for that and um so I guess that's about it. Is there um, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, share with our audience before we let you? Well, go? I always talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I got the mic, so <laughs> um, no, absolutely. Uh, there's a couple of things I you know wouldn't mind sharing. Um, one, uh, labor, you know, like city furniture, merit. We don't just look after Merritt here. I mean, we service every direction from here. Like I got Lytton, Princeton, Hope, Logan Lake, Douglas Lake, Kamloops, uh, everything in between. Uh, uh, we travel everywhere. So we're trying to look after a lot of customers all around our area. Um, we've had a, a very long-term relationship with all the First Nations bands in our area. And I want to remind everyone that status cards are always accepted here in, in our store. Um, so it's, it's a lot of, a lot of people that we try to help as best we can here. Um, definitely want to thank everyone for their continued support over the last 32 years that, uh, City Furniture and Appliances has been here in Merritt. Um, I want to thank my team at the store. <laughs> they do an amazing job looking after things. Uh, my daughter, Jenna, who's managing the day-to-day -day operations of the store. She's great. Um, yeah. As a proud Maritonian, I just want to thank you guys, Melba and Nicolai Tachot, for uh, inviting me onto your show. And we were very proud to have you on the show. And um, I want to thank you, and uh, uh, and I want to say that I've always had great service at uh, City Furniture, and um, that's where all my furniture's from. <laughs> <laughs> no, Anyhow. Thank you very much, Sonny, and um, hopefully we'll uh, talk again. You bet, Mo. Thank you, guys. Have a great night. You, you too. Good night. Good night. Take care, everyone. Thank you, Sonny of City Furniture and Merritt, for joining us tonight on Nickel Valley Talk, and thank you to the viewers for joining us tonight. Please continue to spread the word that we are the best resource in the Nickel Valley for tourism and small businesses. Also, please make an effort to follow, share, and comment on our Experience Nickel Valley Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and our YouTube page. Make sure to tune in next week, May 6th, when we have um, um, the Farmer's Market um, on and uh, on the Valley Talk. And remember, every Thursday night, join us, same time, same place, at 7 p.m. right here on the Nickel Valley Talk. Thank you for watching tonight. My name is Melvina White. I'm your country music and country lifestyle blogger on Experience Nickel Valley and your host on Nickel Valley Talk. Good night and thank you. Well, Melva, that was awesome. Um, before you go, I wanted to, uh, I, I think you might have missed this person, um, Wes Orville. Oh, yeah. Okay. Says, Hello, Melvina. Thank you for all you do. Okay. And also, I just want to shout out to Jenna Sikon, who says she's so proud of her dad and um, and such a great role model that he is. And thank you, Melva, for a great show. So, um, 
uh, and remember, and uh, every week, Thursday night, same time, or yep, Thursday night, same time, same place. And remember to reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink, and leave no trace behind because merit matters. I am your experienced Nicola Valley blogger and sweet dreams, Nicola Valley, and thank you for all your support. And may everyone have a good night.